Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's 9th Avenue in class again today. How have you been? We are going to look at how you can export from your maybe ship file to CAD, right? There are different videos related to this. We have them exporting from yeah from CAD to ship file and then from ship file to Google Earth and some other stuff the links to those videos will be on the description section of this video you can um, check it out or check them out right good however on this video we are going to show you different methods how you can export your, your ship file to what to AutoCAD because um, recently I got um, a contact from someone I got contacted by someone that um, how will they move from ship file to AutoCAD perhaps for any reason they want to do that so that's why we want to make this video to show to you specifically some of the methods not all anyway some of the methods how you can do what move from chip files to CAD so if you're coming to the channel for the first time you can encourage us by subscribing and if you're a returning viewer thanks for always um, checking up on us the first thing we should do is that uh, we need to yeah, we need to save this our ship file again. The reason why we need to save our ship file again is because of these um, feelings. You know, if we don't save them again and we just, um, what do you call it, we just export, we are still going to be having these feelings. However, let's just show you what we mean. So, one of the methods is that you come to export, you go to save features as right. Good. We already have them um, AutoCAD DXM. Now the location of Laos is actually in what um, zone 48 of the UTM. So depending on your location, you also specify your projected location, right? Your projected coordinate reference system, right? Good. So we are using zone 48. Then let's give it a name. We are working on a folder called um, chip files to CAD, right? To AutoCAD. So let's just call this new for the purpose of this video. Then um, the geometry type you can decide to change it to line string or you leave it on the automatic or you can toggle through the other option to see your results so we have what um, autocad we have um, 48 we have line string we just see what's okay good so select items to add we are adding uh, this new layer right now this is what we mean we still have the arch being filled for the for this method However, to fix this particular um, having this field, because by the time we open this on AutoCAD, we still have to see this way because this is the output as we can see here, right? Good. So for us to fix this, we need to save this our first shape file, and then the geometry type we are going to use is what different from what we have already. So let's come back to export. Let's go to save feature as. Then let's come to what S3 uh, shape file. Then let's give it a name. So we have um, Laos as the main, then let's call this um, province, right? This should be province. Then let's call it a um, line string. You will understand what we mean by that very soon. So we save that. Then we come to geometry type, then we change it to what? Line string. Now what this line string would do is that it will help us to remove most of these polygons. That's how best I should explain it, or I can explain it. It will help us to remove most of these polygons and the fillings, yeah, or let's say the ash on AutoCAD, or let's say the fill on um, GIS here, will no longer be shown. It will just be shown as um, a series of lines, right? A series of lines. So now let's see how that goes. We have um, something like that. We say, okay, right? Now, exported successfully. So by the time we close this, our first layer, we can now see that um, the new line string we have is actually fair enough. Let's change the color. So the color is not um, the best of colors. I would rather prefer red. Red. Good. Then the, this, let's make it 25. Right? And then let's. Uh, Good. This is now fair enough, right? So instead of having it filled, we now have it what as a, a series of what line, right? 
good. From this, we can now start a different process of what exporting. The reason why we showed you this is that we don't want you to be going back and forth, maybe having issues that okay, when you export it, you will see it as something like this. It is still filled, you know. You cannot or you would not really want to work with it like this, right? Now, the first method we want to show you how to export to um, to AutoCAD is for you to right click on the layer, right? Then you go to export, then you go to what? Save Fisher as. Remember the layer we have clicked on, it's not the first layer we brought in. It's not the first layer, the first shape file we brought in. The, the layer we are working with now is the layer which changed the geometry type from polygon to what? To line stream, right? So ensure you also take note of that. So you right click, you go to what? Export, then you go to Save Fisher as, right? Good. Now, instead of S3 shape file, we need an AutoCAD DXF. Let's give the file name. Now, instead of this new, let's just call this um, first method. Let's say first export. Good. First export. Receive. The CRS is very, very important. Ensure you know the CRS of the area you're working on, right? Good. So, as is still for the then we can decide to leave it on automatic or we still select what the line string, right? Good. So we say, okay, the process has started. Good. So we still have this um, select items to add window. So we just um, click on that add layers, right? Awesome. So we've been able to what, explore the first option and you can now see that you don't have it filled as the first, uh, unlike, yeah, unlike way we add it earlier right good so it's very important that you save your shape file which is this first one into what line string and when you save it as line string so you have two shape files then the next thing is for you to now start saving what your your line string or maybe exporting your line string towards to AutoCAD which is this particular first export right good unlike the new we had earlier which was still having our field so the next method for you can use to export your your ship file to autocad is by coming to project then going to what um, import slash um, export then you click on them um, export project to dxf right good now at this point dxf export you click on browse good now you give it a name this should be what um, this should be second export right good so this should be the second export the file type is already dxf you can't do nothing so you just save so on that layer you already have the different vector layers we already have right good so what we need to export is not the first export what we need is what this particular shape file that we change the geometry type to what to line string that's what we want to export, right? Not this new, not the Laos province, which is actually in Polygon, and not our first export, right? Good. So remember that if you have multiple layers, you should know the layer you want to export and just check it, right? Good. So that's for that. And then ensure that your CRS is still fixed because it's very, very important. So we still have what? 38. So the other part of the export window is fixed. So we just click on OK, right? dxf export completed so we now have what to export so now let's go to the folder we have created remember this is the first export which is this and then the second export was not added to our layer panel so now let's go to the folder we've created to now open the two exports on autocad right good so this is the folder we are working on and we have our two exports so we have the first export and then we also have the second export so now let's open the both of them on autocad right good so we have our first export here if you can't see anything on your screen just zoom extend you can now see that it appears exactly the way it appeared on what on QGIS. so you come to window then you come to what export to right you still what you still zoom extend so upon using that you can now see the two shape files have been successfully exported towards to autocad so with this, you can carry out, maybe you continue with whatever you want to do with it on AutoCAD, maybe getting it on the map frame or maybe do whatever you want to do with it on AutoCAD and you are good to go. So these um, two methods we've shared with you are 
the different methods or are different methods you can use to move from what from ship files to autocad there are definitely are other methods which you can still explore so if you have um, suggestions if you have questions contribution you can leave them on the comment section and we are going to get back to you as soon as we can so ensure to share the video ensure to support us ensure to help us get the coffee and ensure you keep staying safe and having a very good time we will see you on the next one until then have a nice time Bye.